2016 wasn't the most love year in Cartoon Network's history. Powerpuff Girls reincarnated into a bland, girl-focused series, Teen Titans Go and the aforementioned Powerpuff Girls had one of the most disappointing crossovers in network history, and Regular Show, Gumball, and Adventure Time all announced they would be ending production. So what would be the series that could turn the tide for the network? What would take all this bad news and flip it on its head? Mighty Magisorts! Cartoon Network transferred this once simple web series into a full-length animated cartoon, and there was a general excitement for Magisorts. How would the creators and team behind the series expand it to feel solid with an extended runtime? Mighty Magisorts follows the adventures of Vombre, the newest Cartoon Network character that's gotten DeviantArt's attention, and Boreas in their warriors for higher business. The two excitedly go on quests and use Magiswords or just wit to defeat enemies. Now, there was a lot of potential for this series to become a breakout hit, as the idea of different sword styles and designs could be as epic as Ben 10's transformations. Villains could be threatening, and the world could be as interesting as something like Adventure Time in its starting seasons. However, instead of making a strong Adventure Time replacement, we have a series that is on par with Powerpuff Girls, that is to say, just average. The Mighty Magiswords abilities are pretty much used for comic relief in a show that is filled with situational humor. If these jokes land, is up to the beholder of the show's comedy, and I'm sure audiences will love the situational and sometimes simple humor the show presents. I find the voice actors to be refreshing when compared to other cartoons, particularly Vombre, who could have been voiced with an American accent but was chosen not to. I applaud the general range of voices that sound different than your average cartoon. The animation slides into the same Teen Titans, Powerpuff Girls simplicity, and while the color palette is a variety, it just looks flat, like any web series that uses Flash. Honestly, there are YouTubers with more depth and interest in their Flash animation. Magisword just kept reminding me of Day of the Barbarian, a mid-2000s cartoon with simple humor and adventures in the Middle Ages. It even had a narrator, just as Magiswords today. It feels like Caruso poured his heart and identity into Magiswords. It has a particular flavor, and like Day of the Barbarian, will likely have a generation that becomes nostalgic to it. But it's just another series I would consider just there, even as epic as it attempts to be. But what do you guys think of Maddie Magiswords? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm Brian Swan. Stay tuned for more.